You're watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. When the UK softball team woke up this morning, they had to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, that's because the Cats swept the LSU Tigers over the weekend. It went something like this. Kentucky won 5-3 on Friday, 8-5 on Saturday, and 5-3 on Sunday. All three games were come from behind wins for the Wildcats, who trailed at some point in all three matchups, but just kept rallying, especially in that Saturday game, which went to extra innings. Kentucky is now 25-8 and eight on the season, 6-3 and three in the SEC. The Kentucky baseball team earned its 2,000th win finally over the weekend, beating the Ole Miss Rebels 9-2 on Saturday. That's a big win, but mm -hmm. the other two games of the series, they went the Rebels way. Ole Miss was the number one team in the country a week ago. They came into the series against Kentucky, ranked ninth, and their offense, it was just too much for the Batcats, especially on Sunday when Ole Miss nailed three home runs and got the 10 -1 one victory to take the series. Kentucky is now 18 and 11 overall and three and six in conference play. Well, it's battle of the bluegrass week for both programs. Baseball is up first. First pitch tomorrow night at 630 here in Lexington. So make sure you get out to Kentucky Proud Park for that one. And then the softball team is heading to Louisville to play the cards the following night. That's Wednesday at seven o'clock on ESPNU. The track and field teams competed in Gainesville this weekend in the Florida Relays. The Cats finished the meet with seven event wins, 12 new best times for the program's all-time list, two program records, and 22 personal best. Plus, Abby Steiner, Alexis Holmes, and both the men's and women's 4x4 relay teams ran nationally ranked times, all in some pretty nasty mm. Florida in the spring conditions. <laughs> well, the rain cleared just in time for Abby Steiner to shine in the 100 meter race. She ran a personal best of 11.10. That's the fourth fastest time in the NCAA this season, all conditions, but actually the fastest time in a race without wind aid. Oh yeah, uh, she also won. And it was her first time running this event in three years. I'm super happy with that mark um, and definitely just looking to get some good times for SEC qualifying and regional qualifying and looking to build off of that. I didn't really have any expectations um, just because I haven't ran it in such a long time. So it's nice seeing that time and, you know, just kind of going from there and building off of that. Uh, just a very casual day for Abby. <laughs> she blows my mind. More BBN Tonight is right after this.